a very good morning to all of you so today children we will be discussing the exercises of solids liquids and gases okay so let us all take page number 41 and let's start with the exercise okay so first you can see here the first exercise is tick the correct options right so i'll read the question to you you can choose the correct options from this so the first one is matter is made up of extremely small particles called is it molecules or solids or gases or compounds so you can choose the correct option now let's see the next question molecules in a solid are far apart from each other or slightly away from each other very close to each other or loosely packed you can tick the correct answer now third one the molecules of carbon dioxide gas are far apart from each other slightly away from each other tightly packed or very far apart from each other so which is the correct answer you can choose fourth one a physical change is a permanent change or one time change or irreversible irre change or temporary change last one if sugar is heated continuously a black substance called carbon is formed or oxygen is formed it vaporizes or water is formed so i hope children you have choose the correct answer but anyways let us discuss the answer you can all look on the screen here so the first answer will be molecules okay second one very close to each other third one very far apart from each other and fourth one is temporary change fifth one a black substance called carbon is formed okay so i hope you all got the correct answers now let us look into the next exercise that's tick the true statement and cross the false ones now let's see the first one matter can be solid or a liquid only is it a true or a false statement you can tick or you can put a cross if it's a wrong statement second one the symbol of chlorine is ch is it true or false third one force of attraction between molecules of a gas is weak is it true or false fourth one a chemical change forms at least one new substance is it true or false so i hope you have done it let's see the answers for the same first answer will be it's a false second again false third one will be true and fourth one will be true again so i hope you all got the answers for the same now let's see the third exercise that's match the following here we have options given on the opposite side let's see the first one gas is it c or water vapor or ice or water or one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen so ch children what you can do here is you can match the following you can pause the video for a while you can match the following and you can get back and we will discuss the answer for the same so i hope you have matched the same let's see the answers the first answer will be gas is water vapor and second one carbon is c and third one ammonia molecule it's a one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen fourth one solid it's ice and fifth one is liquid it's a water okay so i hope you got the answers for the third exercise also now let's see fourth one answer the following questions in one sentence children you can be ready you can get ready with the notebook as well as a pencil so that you can write down the answers when discussed okay so let's see the first question describe the molecule of an element let's see the answer for the first question the molecule of an element is made up of only one kind of atoms and that is elements okay let's see the second one describe the molecule of a compound let's see 
the answer for that the molecule of a compounds is made up of more than one kind of atoms right now let's see the third name any one physical change we have seen many examples right the formation of salt solution is a physical change how because salt and water can be easily separated that's why it's a physical change okay let's see the next question burning of paper is a chemical change give reasons we have already learned right let's see burning of paper reduces paper into ash which cannot be changed back to paper right so that's it that's why it is called as a chemical change now let's see the next exercise that that's answer the following questions in few sentences okay so let's see the first question describe the arrangement of molecules in the liquid and solid states of matter let's see the answer for the same so the first answer is like the force of attraction between molecules of a liquid is weak as we have learned but it is sufficient not to allow the molecules to move up far apart from each other okay so the molecules in a liquid are therefore arranged slightly away from each other okay let's see in solid form in the solid form the fo force of attraction between molecules is very strong so the molecules in a solid are tightly packed that's a difference between the liquid form and the solid form they are arranged so close to each other that they are not able to move away okay now let's see the next question explain why gas does not have a definite volume and spreads in the entire given space why there is hardly any force of attraction between the molecules of gas of a gas lack of force of attraction between the molecules allows the molecules to move freely and spread in the entire available space so this is why a gas does not have any shape or volume as we have learned gas the molecules they move freely why they lack in the force of attraction and that's the reason they do not do not have any uh, definite shape or volume okay now let's see the third question distinguish between physical and chemical changes so we have to uh, differentiate between physical and chemical change so let's see the answer for this same physical change is a temporary change but a chemical change is a permanent change how let's see in physical change it does not form a di different substance we have seen for example the formation of salt solution is a physical change why because salt and water can be easily separated so this is a physical change a chemical change forms one or more new substances for example when sugar is burned what happens the new substance form is carbon and it does not have the properties of sugar right physical change in that we can see gentle heating of wax melts the wax this is a physical change because it does not affect the wax in any other way it remains the same wax when melted is also same and when it's solid form also it's same likewise in chemical change you can see burning of paper brings about a chemical change how the paper is reduced to ash and ash cannot be converted back into paper again right so that's a chemical change now here a physical change is mostly reversible why it can be reversed for example when warm liquid wax cools it becomes solid so it can be reversed right but in chemical change is mostly irreversible and permanent why for example if sugar is heated continuously it changes into a new black substance so it's it cannot be reversed so it's irreversible and permanent change that's a chemical change okay now children i believe you have uh, noted down the question answers also in your notebook now let's see another activity that's higher order thinking skills what you need to do here is four sets of illustrations are given below you can see here in the picture a b c and d each shows the arrangement of molecules in certain space of the si same size a b c d different atoms have been colored differently right so different colors represents different atoms study the illustrations and answer the questions now let's see the question answer here which box represents an element 
can you find out which box represents an element we have four boxes here the pictures you can see and you can write the correct you can choose the correct answers in the options given i mean opposite uh, besides the question so you can choose the correct answer for that let's see the second one what could be the state of this element is it solid liquid or gas that you can tick the correct answer now the third one which three sets rep represent the same substance which three sets represents the same substance you can tick the correct options fourth one which set do you think represents a solid substance you can see uh, all the four uh, pictures and you can say which represents the solid substance is it a b c and d you can choose the correct answer fifth one which set could be a liquid which set is a liquid you have to find is it a b c or d let's see the answer for this same and you can check yours whether it is correct first answer will be what c option c okay second one is a gas and third one a b and d you have to tick a b and d also okay fourth one is d and fifth one is a option a okay now again let's see the next exercise that's value based questions for example let's see john was burning newspapers in his backyard okay when his father asked him not to do so first one first question let's see why do you think john's father stopped him from burning newspapers let's see the answer for that why because it forms smoke and pollutes the air that's why john's father was stopping him burn the newspaper is burning a physical change or a chemical change children it's a chemical change when we are burning a paper it reduces to ash it cannot be converted back to paper right so that's a permanent change and that is a chemical change okay now let's see the next exercise let us all take page number 44 here what you need to do is children spot the following words and tick the words that appear in the lesson so you have to spot the words options are given here you have to spot that words from the grid and you have to tick that so do it as a homework okay the project zone this you can take it as an activity you what you need to do here you have to you will need mustard seed and you have you need card paper strips okay and glue so what you need to do here is carefully fix mustard seeds on a card paper to show how molecules are arranged in a solid form so one card has to be prepared to show how molecules are arranged in a solid form similarly prepare separate cards to show arrangement of molecules in a liquid form also and as well as in a gas form also okay so you have to prepare three cards okay to show the molecules in solid form molecules in liquid form and molecules in gas form so you have to write few lines on each card to describe what the arrangement of mustard seeds show okay as we have learned in this chapter so show the cards to your family members and tell them what they describe so what you can do is children you have to prepare this and you you can upload that video in a teams and you can do it as a activity okay so by this we have completed the exercise also and i believe children you have all noted down the exercises what we have discussed here as well as the question answer don't forget to write down in your notebook okay and once again give a glance to the chapter and read it what are molecules compounds ele elements and what are the changes three states of matters and all learn it properly okay so that's all for today's class we'll meet in the next class till then thank you